Trisha is Terry's research initiative in SUPI for Himalayan advancement and it supports farmers with limited resources of income and has helped the farmers overcome many tribulations ranging from the availability of resources to qualms about crop yields and the adoption of new crop technologies. May I now request Dr. Pachauri to kindly give a small memento which has herbs grown at Trisha to Mr. Sinha. Ladies and gentlemen, may I now request Dr. Anupurna Vancheswaram, Director, Sustainable Development Outreach, Terry, with to give her closing remarks uh, and the vote of thanks. As a woman, I think I am different. I take the next the podium which the men did not take. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Sri Jain Sinha, Honorable Minister, dignitaries on the dais, our most valued guests. I, on behalf of Terry and on my own behalf, extend our gratitude to the minister for his presence here and to the entire, let me, let me call it the fraternity of conscious corporate leaders to have assembled today for the high-level corporate dialogue. Ladies and gentlemen, since 2004, this corporate dialogue has become an integral part of the Delhi Sustainable Development Summit, bringing together over 1,500 international and Indian CEOs, senior government officials, and luminaries from across the globe. A big thank you, Honorable Minister Sri Jain Sinha, to have shared your thoughts on how innovation could become part of the value proposition for business. The Corporate Dialogue this year, Theme Delhi to Paris, Corporate Vision on Climate Change, is an effort to formulate an action plan to be carried out in the months leading to the Conference of Parties later this year. The format of the HLCD this year is unique. We are fortunate to have two global corporate leaders amongst us to help kickstart our proceedings. I must mention our deep sense of appreciation for Mr. Paul Paulman and Mr. Matson for leading the sustainability path through their sheer commitment, which is unmatched. Is business, is Indian businesses ready to commit to the sustainability agenda? Given the attendance today, the answer is an emphatic yes. We are grateful to Mr. Mukundan to have stepped in as the chairman of the Terry Business Council Executive Committee, a consortium of nearly 100 member companies from diverse sectors across the country. I need to express my sincere thanks to Mr. Rana Kapoor and to Yes Bank for being an ardent supporter of the Terry Business Council and its mission. Yes Bank, along with the, with the research team, has helped in bringing out several knowledge papers, like the one that we will release today. As patron member of the Terry Business Council, it, does not, it did not take much time for Mr. Rana Kapoor and his team to pledge their complete support to this dialogue. Ladies and gentlemen, the champions deserve a round of applause. I'd like to thank Inkersol Rand, Hitachi, DNV, ADB, and three organizations from Gujarat, the Gujarat Energy Development Agency, Gujarat National Fertilizer Company, and Vasmo, to have also taken up this challenge. May I take this opportunity of thanking them for being part of our mission and reposing their faith on us. Our special partners, we mean business, need a special mention. The partnership alliance that has been gathered, garnered in such a short time merits mention. My sincere thanks to all the partners for your backing and support. Finally, without the enormous cooperation of all my colleagues at Terry, it would not have been possible to organize this event. They deserve, once again, a round of applause, a big hand for my colleagues. As Mr. Paulman mentioned that we have, just after this, immediately uh, we move to the 10 core issues that the corporate sector will be discussing. I can't end my vote of thanks before thanking Sir Jonathan Porritt to have taken up this challenge of taking on the rest of the day and meeting with the corporate sector and discussing the 10 core issues which the corporate sector will bring with some actions on, on the table. Uh, I would also like to end my vote of thanks appropriately because as given that Dr. Pachori talked about risky business, we've talked about the New York Times uh, newspaper that has covered this. Uh, 
We are talking about business in a risky environment, and hence this quote, which is offset but with a slight change, what we do makes a difference, and we have to decide what kind of difference we want to make. With this, may I welcome you all to the curtain raiser of the Delhi Sustainable Development Summit, the High Level Corporate Dialogue. Thank you to all. Thank you to all. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Van Chishwaram. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, with that, we conclude the inaugural session. May I kindly request all of you to put your hands together for all the distinguished dignitaries on the dais.